Okay, so the next big question is how do we troubleshoot this at, uh, at the lowest level possible? So what we see here, uh, if we ADB uh, shell into our um, recovery that the touchscreen is not working and we try to do something like uh, K message um, or K, K message, um, we're not seeing anything. If we try to run logcat, uh, that doesn't work either. So what kind of tools are available at this low level? Well, the first thing is dmessage. All right, so dmessage is the, the systems, the actual kernel's messaging system. And uh, a couple of things that I want to point out first off is that uh, there's a lot of SE Linux um, problems in here. And one of the things I forgot to do was actually to run uh, or to add SE Linux permissive to my kernel command line. So um, I'm rerunning this now uh, and building this with, uh, with that installed and we'll see if that will help us as well. But just uh, that we're, we're now able to look at dmessage, we can get through some of these logs, we can look and see what's going on. Um, something that we would also want to look at would probably be GPIO. Um, you know, we would want to do something like dmessage grep gpio and see the lines that are specific to the gpio or the the you know processing input and output and that sort of thing. Um, we say uh, you know there's um, quite a few in here. see right here so all of these are the uh, GPIO uh, messages that we see um, we see some probe deferrals not really sure what all this means exactly yet but it gives us somewhere to start troubleshooting somewhere to start looking and something that we can see if that's something we can uh, we can work with um, we see uh, arrow getting proxy unvoting GPIO. I don't know what that means exactly, but we can look that up. So now we have something to work with, and dmessage is a great place to start. Um, another thing that we can do is uh, if we go uh, to our device tree area or the device folder, we can look, and there's a K message in there, so you can cat K message, right? and you have to push control C when you're done with this because it's a continuing thing it just continues to write in there but uh, this uh, is very similar to dmessage in fact a lot of the messages are exactly the same but um, but you can look in here at these and see if there's something from the kernel that you need to know and work on so dmessage and kmessage in the device folder are both really helpful tools that are going to allow you to do some troubleshooting and the first troubleshooting that we're going to do is trying out uh, this recovery um, after adding SC Linux permissive since we had so many um, SC Linux warnings in our uh, logs here so we're going to try that out and see if that works any better and uh, and see if we can get the job done that way. So let's see, I'll delete this, find my out folder, copy this new recovery here. We'll exit out of here. Uh, A to B, we're gonna uh, reboot into the boot loader as we did before. We can check to make sure we're there with fast boot devices. And we're gonna fast boot flash recovery recovery dot image. So we'll try that now and fast boot reboot. And I actually have to let it boot up into Android and then I can ADB and reboot into uh, the recovery mode. See our device attached there. ADB reboot recovery, and I like to wait for it to finish doing its uh, boot up. If you're ever booting up Android, it's I think better to wait rather than uh, you know rebooting right off the bat. Um, you know, let it finish going through its startup process. So the screen is up, and so we'll re reboot into that recovery and see if this works any better for us.
All right, so our screen is displayed, and we see the buttons, but still clicking on the buttons doesn't do anything. We can take a look at ADB for devices, and once again, we see that it's there, ADB shell. And now, let's run that D message and see if we get all those SC Linux, and there's still some SC Linux things in there about not being valid, so uh, a couple things that we might want to look at in the future. But we're going to continue troubleshooting. I just wanted to point out that that's two really good things that you can look at if you don't know how to proceed. Looking at your D message is probably going to be a good place to start, and then uh, and then you can work from there.